Well, hi there. If a mouse falls out of an airplane, it will generally hit the ground, bounce, rub its head, and then run away. Assuming it doesn't land right on a rock or a nail or something. A human will break. Humans sometimes survive free fall, but they are almost always broken. But a horse will splash. And this has everything to do with why salamanders can live without lungs if they are small enough, and why insects can't get huge. So why will a mouse bounce, a human break, and a horse splash? It has to do with their surface area to volume ratio. The truth is that most of the people that fall out of planes land on the ground without getting hurt. Why? Because they're wearing parachutes. And a parachute is just a big piece of cloth that dramatically increases your surface area so that you don't fall so fast that your impact with the ground will break you. But if the amount of surface area that you have is great enough compared to your volume, then you can be a parachute for yourself, like a flying squirrel, and maybe even like a mouse. Let's take a look at some cubes. This cube is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. Thus, its volume is one times one times one, one cubed. Its volume equals one cubic centimeter. Its surface area is calculated by finding the surface area of each side and then multiplying it by the number of sides. So in this case, each side is one times one, or one square centimeter. There are six sides, so the total surface area is six square centimeters. Thus, for every cubic centimeter of volume, this cube has six square centimeters of surface area. A surface area to volume ratio of six to one. But what happens if I double the length of each side? Okay, so this cube is two centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters. It has a volume of two cubed, two times two times two, which is eight. The surface area of each side is two times two, so four square centimeters. There are still six sides to the cube, so the total surface area is four times six, which is 24 square centimeters. Thus, the surface area to volume ratio is now 24 to eight, or three to one. Remember that the smaller cube had a surface area to volume ratio of six to one, but by doubling the side length, the ratio dropped to three to one. If we make the side length three centimeters, the volume is 27 cubic centimeters and the surface area 54 square centimeters, a ratio of only two to one. As the object gets larger, the amount of surface area that it has becomes progressively smaller compared to the volume. The volume, assuming that all of the cubes are composed of the same materials, has the most to do with the weight of the object. And the surface area has the most to do with how well the object acts as a parachute for itself. An object with a lot of surface area and little volume will fall more slowly through air than will an object with a lot of volume and little surface area. And this is why a mouse will bounce, a human will break, and a horse will splash. And now you know. In the future, we'll make more videos about why small salamanders can survive without gills or lungs, but large ones cannot, and why insects cannot get extremely large. But I imagine that you're already starting to see why that might be the case. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you'd like to learn more in the future, please subscribe and click the little bell. And we hope to see you real soon.